Hi everyone and welcome to our Twin Flame reading. So um, I am actually torn between what deck to use. I think I'm going to use the Magic Nordic Tarot, um, which is new. So we're going to get this out of the box together. And then I've got some other decks with me as well. So I will let you guys know what I'm using as we go along. Bear in mind that this is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it does, let me know in the comments. Um, and don't forget to like this video. But if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Also, before we begin, do not worry about labels. Um, you know, they... But they don't matter, you know, I, I say this all the time to people, like, the labels truly don't matter. If a reading resonates, then it's for you, and that's all you need to know. So, let's start giving this deck a really good shuffle. So, I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend, um, and you had a relaxing start to the week yesterday. So, we're going to just see what is going on with the Twin Flame collective what's going on with the connection here divine masculine divine feminine let's see what's happening so where are the divine masculines at currently ten of cups okay so the divine masculines have recently found some kind of fulfillment here the ten of cups feels like a very big change it seems like this week the divine masculines are definitely um closing out some kind of cycle maybe stepping into like a new emotional experience I really feel this kind of liberation with the Divine Masculines. It's like they've been held underwater and suddenly emerging and can take a breath of air again. So I really feel the Divine Masculines have been drowning under some kind of emotional pressure. But they are coming out of this and they're feeling very joyful right now. That's what the Ten of Cups is in this deck. This is joyfulness. This is them just feeling very happy and content with how things are. It seems like a good week for the Divine Masculines. That's definitely how they're starting this week anyway. Um, so let's see Divine Feminines. What's going on with you guys? The Hermit. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I've got a really tight chest at the moment. So, the Hermit, Divine Feminine, you're searching for answers, you're looking for more. The Divine Feminine here seems to be trying to understand something. With the Hermit, you know, she's likely spending time on her own this week, really trying to connect. Um, now, the Hermit, I really feel, for the Divine Feminines, there's this desire for more information and it's not even about this connection it seems like the divine feminine is trying to find her life purpose she's trying to understand the lessons which are taking place right now she's definitely in this kind of meditative state and this week she's so focused on understanding what's going on um, in her life understanding where she wants to go where she wants to go to next the hermit to me is always trying to learn more is constantly seeking out more information um is looking to share this with others as well so the divine feminine here could be looking to change her life to maybe change something here and she's just trying to find out okay well how can I do this how can I make this happen and um, divine feminines you're gonna find this week does does move very quickly it seems like this is a week which just kind of flies by but you are gonna leave this week just feeling like you have more understanding feeling like you know more about your purpose and just feeling so connected to your higher self and to your spirit guides so let's, let's see what's going on in this connection currently so where's this connection at, Spirit? Where's this connection at? I'm getting confusion. I feel like there's a bit of confusion here. But let's see, where's this connection at, Spirit? King of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there is a bit of an emotional disconnect right, right now. Um... We had the King and Queen of Swords come up last week in one of the readings. I can't remember if it was the... I think it's the weekly, actually. <coughs> was it yesterday's? My gosh, I cannot remember. Um, so, the King of Swords, what's happening here? It feels like the structure of this connection is changing. The way you communicate with each other is changing. There's definitely some kind of peace offer here, which the Divine Masculine would like to send to the Divine Feminine. Some kind of message of, like, okay can we work on this? Like, can we forgive each other? Can we move past this? Um, but I do feel this 
uh, this sense of like the two of you are choosing something. There's a choice here to make. It feels like quite a big choice. Um, what's going on here? What's going on here? It's as if the, because the Divine Feminine is pretty disconnected this week, focusing more on connecting with herself and her guides, it's as if the Divine Masculine is like using this space to try to plan some kind of message or communication. And I really get this sense of like, you may hear from this person this week, even if it's been a while, um, but there's this like wave of peace, which is kind of like flowing over this connection right now. Queen of Cups. So the King of Swords, Queen of Cups. So this is definitely kind of confirming where you guys are at. Divine Masculine working on structure, working on trying to organise this connection, working on communication for sure, but also remaining quite logical and the Divine Feminine, Queen of Cups. She's feeling quite sensitive and emotional and she's not seeing that from her Divine Masculine right now. So it could be this sense of frustration because the Divine Masculine is being so like matter of fact about things and the Divine Feminine is here like, give me more, show me how you feel. I need emotion, I need connection and the Divine Masculine is all about, I want to plan, I want to like... I want to see where this is going. Like, I, I don't want to think of emotions right now because it clouds my judgment. It stops me from being able to do what I need to do. So the two of you are kind of on different pages this week um, in the sense of Divine Feminine is just searching for, like, emotional connection. Divine Masculine is searching for, like, organisation and structure here. Divine Feminine is definitely feeling quite protective of her feelings this week. Um, it seems like she's kind of reached a point where, say, this is her Divine Masculine, the fish in the sea that she wants, but she's still got her cup in the water being like, okay, well, I am open to other options, but she just doesn't see them. So I think the Divine Feminine this week is kind of like, maybe like questioning things a little bit because I do just get that sense from her but she's focusing so much on her life that either she's questioning the connection or just very disconnected from the connection so let's see what's going to happen next what's like the next step here which is going to be taken what's the next step here two of wands unity that's what it is in this deck so the two of wands um, interestingly, in this deck, it, it's kind of talking about two people coming together about the unification of like, you know, two maybe polar opposites, like yin yang energy here. This two of ones to me is really confirming that there's this sense of like, it is going to come together, it is going to work. So, what's coming next here? Spirit's really guiding you to remember that this is going to come together. You are going to be with you know, your true counterpart, you're going to be with someone in a committed relationship who respects you, who loves you, who gives you what you desire. And with that two of wands here, there is obviously this choice to make, there's obviously this decision, but I really strongly see that you guys are going to be making each other so happy. Let me just read this two of wands very, very quickly from a guidebook. I think that may help. Communication, self-worth, partnership and confidence. The two of wands marks the start of a rewarding partnership in love, work or business. From joint ventures with friends to new relationships and fruitful collaborations with others, it heralds a time when two heads are better than one and joint projects are poised for success. Um... So important decisions will also need to be made in work and romance and there could be a choice between two partners or jobs. Don't settle for what's comfortable, choose happiness instead. So I'm glad I read it from a guidebook because it's a little bit different to like how I'd usually interpret the two of wands. But whenever I feel drawn to using a deck, sometimes I'm like, it's because there's a message from this deck. And spirit is really saying what's coming next. Yes, you may have a choice between two people, um, but ultimately you're going to be in a really happy partnership you know this is saying a, a relationship is blossoming it's coming together 
It's exciting times, that's for sure. Now let's see if the Divine Masculine is going to be making a move this week. Let's see what's going to happen this week from them towards you. Seven of Pentacles. So it feels like this week they may not make a move. It may be a week where you feel like you're having to be quite patient and keep faith. And I definitely feel that could be a little bit challenging here for the Divine Feminine because it just seems like a very slow week, but it's a week full of growth. You can see that the Divine Masculine this week is all about finding their happiness. And we know we must be happy in our in ourselves, in our own lives before we can be happy with another. And meanwhile, the Divine Feminine, she's so focused on finding answers and going hermit mode. And it just really seems here like... Yeah, this week it could be slow, it could be a little bit challenging, making you um, kind of question how much you believe in this connection, but it's going to be okay. Um, you know, we know that already, it's, it's going to work out, but this week it just feels like this is a week of building blocks, not necessarily seeing the final result. Three of Wands, freedom. So the Three of Wands is all about expansion and growth. So this week is definitely a week where perhaps you're doing things more independently, where you are working on your own goals, you're working on completing your projects, you know, just really getting stuff done. Very productive week, a week where you get to plant some seeds for your future, a week where you get to really focus on yourself. But in terms of the, the Twin Flame connection here, you may just find yourself feeling a little bit distant from your counterpart this week, but it is going to be just fine. In fact, I feel like this is one of those weeks where you look back and realize how much you actually managed to get done for yourself um, and we all know we have to focus on ourselves we can't just think about you know relationship here so guys I'm going to go into the extended we're going to get a channel message from your counterpart to you see what they've got to say this week and we're just going to keep going and see what else we can know, um, we can know about this week so if you guys are enjoying this reading and it's resonating then do head over to my patreon site sacredspace.co.uk and we're going to see what other messages we get for this twin flame reading so thank you for watching this and I will see you over on sacred space for the rest of the reading so I'll see you guys over there um but have a lovely week and if you don't check out the extended i will see you back here real soon and before i go last thing i will be back with the daily tower readings here on youtube um next week so probably starting like next wednesday because i'm waiting for my parents to get back from cuba so that i can have some more help with childcare because i just don't have time to record loads at a moment without them being around to, to help with theo but thank you so much for your patience lots of love as always and i will see you over on sacred space for the rest of his reading.